Hello, my name is Laura Lynn. I'm a jewelry designer here at Fire Mountain Gems and Beads, and I will be teaching you how to make a friendship bracelet basket weave pattern today. I have chosen bamboo cord as my material to use today, as I'm allergic to various other cords, and it works wonderful for me. So I have chosen three colors for this project, and you're gonna need four feet of each color and four strands so that um, you can complete this project. To get started, uh, once you have cut out your strands, you're going to do a temporary knot as later on we will be turning it, uh, braiding it. So you don't want to tighten it, but you do want um, just to get them together. So let's get started. You just put your knot underneath the clamp so that you can tug on it and that's not going to go anywhere. And then you want to separate your cords and group them by color. So I have gone ahead and separated my cords to the four orange, four blue, four green. For this specific project, you're going to be doing two different types of knot. You are going to be doing the forward knot and the backward knots. You also are only going to be working with two colors at a time. So whichever side you start, whether it's left or right, doesn't matter. It's just you're going to take two colors at a time. So I am going to start with my orange and blue. So I'm actually going to set my greens to the side, move them over a little bit so they're out of my way. And there is the, the, blue, the color in the middle is going to be your base uh, color, the cord that you're going to hold. The color to your right when you're working from, um, the color to your left, my apology, when you're working on the left side of the pattern will be the color that's going to end up on top. You always want to make sure that your core color when you're doing your knots is tugged on tightly so that your knots can be moved to the top without any efforts. So let's get started. For the first one, we will be doing, um, you will grab your first two cords to the right of your, um, left of your pattern, my apologies, and you're going to start by making a, what looks like a number four. Take your left pattern, bring it over the second cord. Then you're going to go under that second cord and up through the loop you just made, holding that second cord tugged. And then you're going to tug up to the very top here. And for every forward knot, you're going to make two half hitches. So every knot requires two steps. You're going to do the same thing again kind of a four, go over, under, up through, holding this tightly and then tugging to make your nice tight. This is a cord, we're going to work it all the way through the middle, all the way to the end of the blue cord. So now that I'm done with this one, I will set it aside. I will pick up my next cord, which is cord number three, and do the same pattern again. So a four, over, under and through keeping that second cord well now this is cord number uh, three tug tightly bring the half hitch up and do again over under up through and then tug on it to make it tightly you want to make sure that while you're doing this keep your knots tightly and consistent so that your pattern will have a nice tight pattern. Let's do that. We're done with this cord. We're going to go for the next orange one. Make your four over, under, and up through. And tug on it to tighten it. Let's step one and do again. Just always remember when you're doing friendship knots, every knot requires two steps. Doesn't matter if you're doing the forward, the backwards, the forward backwards, or the backwards forward. So now, this is the first one of the blue. The blue's not going to show because, as I mentioned, it's your bottom core, but we're going to do the same thing. Be a little easier to see that four with the different colors. There we go. And this one, and do it again a second time.
as you work this through, you're only going to go to the end of your blues. So, and at that time, then we'll switch over to the right side of this pattern. There we go, the first one. That was both steps. I'm going to do the four over, under, and through. Making sure to keep that base chord tug. So now I'm reaching the last one of the first row of the oranges. Step one, step two. That is the completion of your first row. So I'm done with this cord now. I'm just going to set it over here with the greens because I will not need it until I start working on the right side of this pattern. You're going to continue to do the same thing I just did with that first row until you have used up all of your oranges. You're not going to do it with the blues at this time. So I grab the next two. And as the first row, we're going to do the four and always two stitches over, under, and up through, holding this as you now some things with this cord it can be a little stiff so it might need your help and just get your little nail in there to get it where you want and then tug on it so it's nice and tight Let's do that again over under and through same thing see I'm at a part of this cord where it's a little stiff so it's not wanting to do what I want but there we go. Pick up the next orange one and do the same thing. The four. You're going to go over. You're going to go under the cord and up through it. Holding that cord and then bringing your knot, sliding your half hitch up. First one. And do it again. it. Always remember two steps to every knot when it comes to these bracelets. The other thing that is important that sometimes, especially here where you're having two colors, if, you are not, if you're not tugging on this, what happens is your blue comes up like that. All you need to do is just tug on it and then the blue will go underneath because you don't want it to show. And that's the reason you hold that one tugged. So over, under, and through. It's my second step. And then four, over, under, and up through. Over, under, and up through. The neat thing about this is that it's once you learn the, the four basic knots of these bracelets, is you can make just about anything. You can be creative, you know, as you start to learn what each knot does. And then come up with your own patterns if you want. Once you get to the point where the color that you're showing here is orange, but you have no orange left on this side, it means you're done with this side and you want to move over to the other side of the pattern. So just like a forward knot, a backwards knot is just
just the opposite. Instead of making a four you want to make your knot, you're going to make a backwards four. So you're going to go take your most outer cord, cross it over the next cord over. You're going to go under it, up through, and keeping that inner cord tugged while you tighten the knot. And remember, there's always two half hitch to complete one full knot in this bracelet, in any friendship bracelet, basically. So put that aside. I'm going to continue working with that cord for the next one over. So now that I'm done with this pattern here, with all of my greens, the orange are by themselves, I'm just going to move them to the side as I'm not going to work for them for a while. Now we've gone back to the left side pattern, and as you can tell, when I start to work these cords, the blue is the one that's going to be shown. And I just adjust my cords so that it's easy to grab them. And always from the left side, you will be doing the forward knot. From the right side, you will be doing the backward knot. Okay, so now that I've done all the blues, your clue of when you're done with the color is when you end up with just one color of one on the side of your pattern. So you basically will continue to keep doing this. If you're working on the left side with two colors, you're gonna be doing the forward knot. If you're working on the right side two colors, you're going to be doing the backwards knot. So I'm gonna be back with you. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bracelet up, and at the end I'll teach you how to finish it off. Welcome back. I am now at the very last row of the green pattern. You basically, as I mentioned earlier, you just keep repeating this. And then once you get to the length that you want the bracelet to be, then I'm going to teach you after I finish this row how to um, end the bracelet. I've chosen a simple just braiding it at the end and I will be tying the cords in a knot and um, using some E6000 fray lock to glue my knot so that it doesn't come apart when I cut the extra cord. So it's just a simple braid and I've chosen because there's three colors I thought braiding would be easy. You're just going to bunch your colors together. Your orange, your green, your blue. And now we're just going to braid the end. So now we're just going to bring it up and tie the ends in a knot. Just kind of wrap it around my finger. There we go. So I'm going to be using the fray lock um, to apply to this before I cut it so that at the, it doesn't become unraveled. Um, I also have put a silicone mat on my working space as I want to protect it and not get glue everywhere. It's a really good product. You just want to get it in there everywhere. Put it all over your knot. The other thing, make sure to go in between the cords so that you get all of those aren't going to come out later. Neat thing about Freylot is you can just use your fingers to get that glue in there. You know, you can use a toothpick also that will help you. Put a little bit on it to get it in between your cords. You just basically want to make sure that you got enough glue everywhere on these because later on we're going to go, once it dries, we will go ahead and just cut it right at the knot and all you will have left is this. Here is my completed bracelet and I've let the fray locked um, dry. And then as you can see, I've cut it really close to it. As long as you make sure you get the glue in between all those strings, this will not come apart. All we got to do now to put it on is Wrap it around your wrist, tighten it, and there's your bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this. 
I do want to thank you for watching the video. We have other friendship videos on firemountaingemsandbeads.com. Make sure to go there if you want to learn other patterns. Thank you.